it is better okay, for thank Kevin. You. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank um, you. So we're so excited that you actually flew in for this. Did you actually realize that you were going to win your nomination? What do you mean? Uh, did you actually uh, um, feel that you were going to win at all? Because you won, remember? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I, that, I, that's yeah, your yeah, feeling yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> But I feel well, very thrilled because I, I, I can't uh, imagine that it was a real big surprise for me. Uh, so I'm feeling really excited. Right and um, yes, uh, so what are your plans uh, in um, Italy when you come uh, go back there? Are there more projects and are you going <coughs> to shout out to the whole world that you won at our festival? Yeah, well, I have a lot of projects. Uh, first of all, I want to tell everything that I won here, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I like to uh, have another uh, short, yeah. a comedy one. Uh, I come back to my uh, first love, the comedy. Uh, and then I, and I try to work on my first feature, uh, long uh, feature. And um, tell us, uh, they're really father and son, right? Yeah. And tell us about the career of that father. Okay. Actor. Yeah. Uh, the actors are uh, in life uh, father and son. And uh, I work uh, uh, with the mother <laughs> before, because even the mother of the, of the kid is, a, is an actress. Uh, I worked with her uh, two years ago for a, a comedy short, and then I met uh, her family. Uh, the father, the actor, is uh, Maurizio Crozza, and it, uh, he's a, a very important showman uh, for the television, Italian television. And uh, the background is uh, from theater, and uh, he works uh, as a comedian for for TV and for uh, for theater. And uh, I work with uh, her, his uh, wife, um, and now is uh, with uh, her, uh, their son. <laughs> Sorry about my English. <laughs> so I guess uh, uh, just to can you summarize? Uh, as I mentioned, it's an anti-bullying campaign. Like was yeah. this um, was this actually for the government? Was this for a contest? Or okay. why did you do the campaign? Okay. No, actually, um, uh, Olga started with um, a writing uh, contest mm. uh, for uh, um, uh, promoted by uh, a sort of charity uh, association who try to help a family with uh, problematic kids. Uh, the novel, um, the winning novel, became the short. Uh, so I had to work with the writer of the novel and then uh, with a screenwriter who I um, worked uh, with, uh, useful, useful. And, uh, and then we, sh we show the movie. And they show this on TV? Uh, no, uh, it's only uh, shown on um, from the with the association for the meeting for um, help the family, the families. Uh -huh. What? Uh, how did they choose to do that as the bullying, to the lighter? Uh, that's uh, an the idea. Device. Yeah, that's an idea of the of the writer, of course. Uh -huh. um, uh, because uh, uh, he wants to uh, show something, uh, a sort of um, a shock treatment, uh, but is also a uh, sort of act of love, because uh, the father wants to show uh, his son how it could be painful uh, an action uh, like that. And then, um, I guess I, I have time since Bob stepped out. I have a time for a couple of questions. So Lisa, do you have a question for Max? I just, it's more like a comment, like, I think that whole lighter is such a brilliant idea to signify, yeah. um, which is very much like the factor and the core of the story, you know, and it's strong. It's very, very strong yeah. with a simple flick of a lighter. Yeah. So I, I saw the essence of the film just by Okay. That, so. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think, uh, like that last scene, I thought it was very powerful, but I, I think what happens that children don't realize that the person bullying is taking away their power because I thought to myself, well, why doesn't the child just blow out the lighter to no more? Well, uh, yeah. because in the, the first scene, right. uh, the, the child um, right, right. burned the neck right. of, the, of the child right. in front, mm -hmm. of course. And then the last scene uh, is a sort of second lesson for the kid because the kid is not really a bad guy, a bad kid. He's just a boring kid, right. uh, and he probably do bullying just for boring, just for, for a joke. And uh, the the second guy uh, in the end of the film 
uh, teach him that the, um, the, the sort of law uh, phi by i, uh, you said that in, in English, or we, in Italy we say phi by phi, it's a sort of, of law. If you hurt me, I, I can hurt you. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye, so thanks, thank you. Uh, the second teach, show the, the kid that um, it's wrong. So this is the second lesson uh, for, for, the, for the kid. <coughs> This is on life, the second life lesson. I guess we have time for one more question. So, um, yeah, so tell us about the um, acting process since you need to deal with uh, famous actors. So did you have limitations? No, uh, he was very generous with me. Uh, he had a lot of, of, uh, of work uh, for television and for theater, but he, he was so uh, proud to, to work with uh, his uh, own song for the first time. Uh, so everything it was uh, very um, nice. I mean, two days to, uh, to this for shooting, and uh, two, um, a week before we, we met uh, together, I uh, had uh, a reading with a song, and then a reading with a with a father and a son together, and that's all. And uh, how to find your work? Your website, Facebook? Yes, yeah, sure. You can show my short movie on my uh, website. Uh, that's uh, maxcroci.com. Um, and you found it probably, you can find all the comedy, <laughs> comedies, and um, uh, soon these two. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The winner of our best short film category. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. So um, tonight we're here for our um, the couple Lamar, um, co-directors and co-producers of Teach. The um, the first time I saw the film, I go like. Um, I've heard of uh, situations happening with teachers right now, how they're unfairly being judged. And meanwhile, um, our society, as, as our children grow, all the teachers, um, all our kids pass through them and we're all affected. May you have children or not ch have children. Is that your background? Are you teachers? And why did you choose this topic? Well, actually, mm. we're both teachers at the Boston Public Schools. And teaching, I've been teaching 18 years and was been teaching how, how many? About 24. 24. And I teach second grade right now and Yvonne teaches art. Um, but really, as we said in the movie, it was, we started this movie five years ago. And um, we, we were just tired of not hearing what teachers had to say and hearing a lot of misinformation in the public and also walking around with targets on our back. Everything was wrong with education, for only we couldn't get rid of those old, lazy, rotten teachers that are, the union is protecting. Well, we, we just um, we felt there had to be another voice out there and talk about um, that there were other teachers out there and that there is an alternative viewpoint. And um, the other um, issue is that teachers are targeted because it's a diversion away from the real problems in education, which um, causes a lot of problems, like we talked about a little bit. Um, the resources that you don't have in schools um, compared to some other schools, the, the inequity of the resources, that was a, a very important issue um, that really brought us to a point where we, we had to speak out. And um, did, Yvonne, did you want to say? Yeah, I, I think it basically comes down to um, the humanity taken away from, from people. Teachers are people, but the students we teach, we feel really strongly need to have a voice. And um, it is, it does come down to the power in the country and who's in control. And it's very hard. And as we've seen with many of these films, if you don't have a lot of money backing you to get out your 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 message, your voice is really hard. So even if it affects people in a little bit, we want people to think about really what is important for children. So. And just one other thing, one of the other major motivations for, for us was that what we saw happening to the schools and the really the killing of the creativity, the killing of the joy and the spirit and the love of learning and um, putting in teachers and students in a situation where um, they had to practice the test. I mean, there was 
practice testing and pre-testing and then the testing takes so much time and what are, you, what are your scores, what are your student scores and everything was um, creativity and joy in education was being replaced and turning schools into teaching factory, a uh, testing factory. And also the teachers are afraid to speak out. Um, in fact, he spoke out and he's not in very good shape anymore as far as, I mean, people are afraid to say what they feel is right for children anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and so he did it really. <laughs> so so um, um, I guess I, I want to ask you about the uh, um, I really find it so awful about MCAS and putting that uh, hill and putting uh, putting Dead the names of the children if they're on top or in the bottom. Can you imagine having stigma of having an A in front of you or a B or maybe an F, right? right. <laughs> so uh, I, I really hated the idea too of the, the everybody, all the teachers are based on data. Uh, you're just a data or else, yeah. you know. And then um, otherwise, are you getting backlash for putting this out there from the Board of Ed? Uh, yeah, he <laughs> well, definitely um, did. <laughs> I've, under, I've come under, um, they're really uh, distressed with the fact that I um, made this movie, the superintendent and the mayor, um, and they pretty much come after me, and um, pretty, uh, being pretty much forced into retirement. <laughs> um, and uh, there's been a lot, so it, a it lot of, it's happening right now. But right they now. are also, um, I don't know how it is in New York, but in Boston, they, actually, we met somebody here yesterday, they do go after teachers, and there is bullying right now. For mm -hmm. I mean, for <laughs> teachers are being bullied. Right. And, exactly. Uh, so funny how you teach not children not to bully, but yeah. you are being bullied yeah. yourself. Yeah. Well, there's actually a, a new law in Massachusetts that just took effect. Um, in October 1st, and it's affecting all the teachers, and it's a new evaluation system.